Hello everyone and welcome to the OctoClean YouTube channel. I'm Greg and today you're going to train with us on how to set up a janitorial cart. So today we're going to talk about our janitorial cleaning cart. Now this cart's set up for either daytime cleaners, what we call day porters, or our sanator or restroom person on a team cleaning system that we use in our OctoClean franchising systems. So let's get into a deep dive on what we actually put on the carts, how it should be set up, and how we recommend you set this cart up. So first of all, you'll see we have a cleaning tote here. This tote has on this side, or my right hand side, this is what we would call the dirty side. This is the stuff we're using around the toilets in the restrooms. The other side here is what we call a clean side. So let's talk about what's in each side. So this side we have an acid bowl cleaner, takes the rings out of your toilets. We have an acid disinfectant cleaner. So this maintains toilets on days we're not using our acid cleaners. And again, this is going into what we deem as our dirty side of this cleaning tote. And then we also have our toilet brush or toilet swab. So that's our dirty side of the, the cleaning tote. Let's look at the clean side. What are we doing? So when we say clean side, we're looking at what we can use in office space or uh, maybe dining areas, things like that. You're looking at glass cleaner, a general purpose cleaner, a clean sponge, so in case you have to clean a sink, metal sheen or stainless steel polish, and that will be in our clean side. Now what else do I need besides, of course, cleaning chemicals? Well, we deem very important also is hand hygiene. We know that a lot of times we don't have a lot of our cleaners that are able to wash their hands all the time. So we always recommend having a bottle of hand sanitizer on your cleaning cart with you. That way when you're taking your gloves on and off, you can sanitize in between. So then we go to gloves. Your gloves, latex, non-latex, nitro, whatever gloves you want and whatever size that you need. And we put them here for easy access. You can just grab them out. The next thing we're gonna look at is trash bags. We have large, medium, and small. You don't know which side bag you're gonna have, so we gotta have all of them. Then we go into our towels. Of course, we're gonna have cleaning towels. Blue towels are for glass. Green are for surfaces. And then yellow are for restroom fixtures. So when I say fixtures, really, it's toilets and urinals. What else do we have on our cart? You'll notice that we have a lot of dusting tools. We have feather duster, things where you can get up high. Then we also have a extension duster for corners of areas, maybe vents that you can't reach because we don't really want you to get on a ladder. I'd rather use something like this. Then we'll get into our safety items such as wet floor signs. We also have a closed for cleaning sign here that we can use when we are cleaning a restroom if we are doing it during the day when we have public around. What else do I have on my cart? Let's look a little bit deeper into this cart. Of course, we'll have our keys to our dispensers. So in case I need to refill uh, toilet paper, paper towels, or soap, I'll have my keys. Typically, these keys are either are around your neck just like this. Well, today I'm gonna hang them here so we can continue our video. Then we also have our card. This card aids the cleaner in how to clean things properly anywhere from restrooms to offices, etc. So that card here, that cards are gonna go there. Then we have our cabinet. As you notice here, this cabinet has a lock on it. Not all, ca all janitorial carts have a locking cabinet. Some of them are just wide open. We use locking cabinets in the daytime to lock away cleaning chemicals. So when I'm away from this cart, I can put all my cleaning chemicals in here so someone couldn't accidentally come and spill them on themselves. For this purpose, we are using this to lock up our, as you see here, our consumables or our paper products. So two rolls of paper towel, at least one roll of regular hand towel, that could be roll towel or as we're looking here, multi-fold. And then we have seat covers. And if you notice, these are what we call dry. And if we look below, we have soaps. So we have soaps and sanitizers. We keep our soap and sanitizer below anything that's dry, just in case that spills, it's not gonna ruin my toilet paper, paper towels, etc. So keep that in mind as well. And as we notice, we're having our mop bucket with, with a ringer and the mop handle and a new mop head, of course. Uh, the back side of this cart has a janitorial trash bag. So for us to take out trash as we go. 
And that is pretty much everything you really need to know to have a good starting point to do either a day porter cart or if you're doing a sanator or a restroom cart for a person, someone that's cleaning a restroom. Well, thank you for training with us in this video. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe and like, and then comment for us below on which tip helped you the most. And I'll see you next time.